many years ago they were wanting to do that. Now, Artie Ben had been working on it, so just keeping it real. All right, well, here's our little dealio showing you where the storms are going to be. And the funny thing was, when I go over to Intellicast, well, I just start looking at these rings because they're pinging it hard. Detroit, Columbus, Cincinnati. Between, between Detroit and Chicago, there's a new ring showing up there. There's a scalar square in the middle of those lakes right there. Detroit, Columbus, Cincinnati ring pinging out there and right around Nashville. And there you go. Let me see if I can frame through. Notice a circular shape it begins to coalesce. say these areas tomorrow as the Associated Press rightly knows because someone is keying them in uh, between Detroit Chicago whatever that is what is that in between Detroit Chicago get a name of a city or something right Fort Wayne Fort Wayne and then up north of here there's a scale see look at this strange these little lines right here I mean when you go in and you really start l looking folks this is just a, a, a Plethora of unexplained phenomena. Scalar square right here, you see the clear edges of it. And the funny thing is that uh, this, is, this isn't just a phenomena on the video screen here. If you actually, I've got pictures from the ground observation with a, a photographic camera that shows these circular uh, clouds in the sky or whole circular holes in the sky. It's exact replication of what I'm seeing on here on Intellicast. So what we see here is also... Now on the ground, if you're looking from down here on the ground, you don't see that. You see a line of storms going off in the distance. You'd have to be in a plane during the daytime to witness some of this stuff. And it's all hushed, top secret. Nobody's talking about it. I mean, you could seriously do time five year, 50,000 fine, according to the Wartime Information Security Program. And according to 2025 Air Force Force Multiplier, well, we could have long ago been at uh, war weather-wise because the guy's whole contention is, well, we better start having building weather weapons because our enemies are doing so as quickly as they can in order. One hundred tornadoes in 24 hours touched down in the U.S. Midwest, leaving a path of destruction in their wake. The natural disaster did have a silver lining, however, as timely warnings kept the death toll to a very minimum. Thanks to harsh early warnings from the Storm Prediction Center, relatively few lives were lost. As of Monday, only six deaths have been confirmed. Just last year, there were over 500 tornado-related deaths. This weekend's tornadoes carved a path of destruction through parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, and Iowa. 122 confirmed tornadoes touched down, with 99 of them hitting Kansas alone. Tornadoes ripped through the rural community of Woodward, Oklahoma, where six died, four of them children, while another 31 were injured. Yes, folks, that's what it was. They cared so much about people that they predicted it, and they put out a warning and they, they help save people while at the same time, what? Oh, you had these areas just being pulsed. I think one of them was actually Wichita in Kansas. So as they were pulsing them with these um, microwave and uh, ELF type weapons, harp weapons, uh, they that don't exist. They don't exist, right? 
yet they're ruining people's lives, right? So this is good for the insurance companies. This is good for business. It's good for contracts. It's good mostly for the banks. And let's not forget that this technology is in the hands of not just the United States, but Russia and China as well. So, and they have their own little uh, setups around the world. So this is a global operation, has nothing to do with nationalism or a certain country. Uh, so if you believe that these people that possess this technology who also condone and promote calling majority of the population actually give a sh two shits about you, well then you need to go back and do your research. There's uh, plenty of information, pictures, documents that is online available for you to uh, check out. So, uh, geometric modulation increasing the power of harp. So, yeah, many people uh, take all these storms as uh, basically a natural occurrence, but according to um, the Air Force's own document, Owning the Weather in 2025, they actually use the appearance of these engineered weather, uh, basically modified weather storms as being natural as a reason to pursue this technology. So, and, you know, unfortunately, most nationalism is dead, and there is a global, uh, basically, cabal or Cart, like I've used the term before, a cartel of death, basically the elites, or Illuminati, whatever you want to call it, and uh, they own the planet. So their only enemy is you, the is just the individual. So if you're not in, if as George Carlin said, if you're not in that club, well then, sorry, you're the enemy. So you can go in there and check the article, but I have a lot to get to, so I'm going to keep moving. But it basically uh, cites since Dutch or Dutch since. Uh, producing a paper that was published in the Journal of Geophysical Research Letters by researchers working on a grant presented, or uh, yeah, presented to Stanford University by the Office of Naval Research regarding the efficacy of new of a new type of ELF ELF wave generation. It says this new method of wave generation using HARP itself, which already exists, is called geometric modulation due to the use of patterns for wave generation. So they go in there and they define each one uh, a line. The first is a line sweep defined as where the heating beam scans back and forth along a chosen azimuth completing a full back and forth scan in one ELF period. It says a sawtooth sweep which basically goes uh, back and forth completing sweeps across the path and starting back at the initial end. And of course you have the circle sweep which is the um, harp circles or rings. So going in there, uh, it says translating this above information to English simply means that the geometric modulation or shapes is capable of significantly enhancing the higher frequency power projected into the ionosphere, not merely upping the power of the harp station itself. Then the ring of fire is roaring to life and there will be earthquakes of historic importance on the west coast of the United States. And we know recently we've had earthquakes off the coast of Oregon and Indonesia. Indonesia was an 8.6, uh, whereas in Oregon it was a 5.9. And it says here on Wednesday it was the most powerful strike-slip earthquake ever recorded along the ring of fire. And of course the San Andreas and that, that's what it is. And all it's going to take is for the ring of fire to be going maybe in Indonesia or Japan and... Um, a little bit of harp magic in Mexico, where they have their little facilities and that, and uh, what? And then you uh, you got the San Andreas uh, fault lines moving big time, and uh, then you're going to get the quote big one. I mean that's what scientists refer to it or, or dub it as in California, which is going to be California, Oregon, Washington, uh, where that plate out there is going to start moving, and it's going to be caused by this right here in California and when that happens you're gonna have a hundreds of basically at least a hundred foot tsunami that's what's predicted uh, and a 7.0 at least earthquake so um, d definitely when I heard there was a second quake happening in California that I definitely keep my eye on that because that's a good indicator of when I think the crap is gonna hit the fan I mean what's crazy is if you actually start to get all kinds of flooding going on friend uh, mentioned this where uh, the Mississippi actually starts flooding from waters uh, coming into the from the Great Lakes and that and actually forms like a like a mini ocean and parts the country in half. I mean that would be some pretty uh, doomsday type scenarios, man. But uh, moving on here, we have the ultimate uh, euphemism. UN calls its blueprint for mass death a virtuous green path. All arms of the scientific dictatorship appear to. Uh, now move in unison. As of late, we hear repeated calls for deindustrialization of the developed world, the rich places like us here in the United States by the global elites. 
And it goes on, it says, as it's not just calls, in the tragic case of Andrew Words, we uh, learn what it means to live under a yoke of the Agenda 21. It goes on, it says, the attempt of being made by the elite to integrate the so-called population issues into other issues such as poverty and climate change and the pretext needed to call the population. So with the objective of plunging mankind into a new agrarian age and depopulating the planet, while they're at it, the global elite have set up a broad approach with uh, which self-described eco-socio-economist Professor Sachs has euphemistically dubbed a virtuous green path. And of course, this is based off the 91 policy paper prepared for the United Nations Conference on Environmental Development. But it basically goes on there and it says, it dubs it, the next 40 years transition strategies to uh, the virtuous uh, green path, north, south, east, and global, in order to stabilize the population of the south by means of other than wars or epidemics, Mere campaigning for birth control and distributing uh, of contraceptives has proved fairly inefficient. And I'm sorry if there's any background noise right now. I, there's nothing I can really do about it. Uh, the IKEA neighborhood wave of the future, and it goes on. It basically says that the Swedish furniture company will be creating a whole neighborhood, and it said it's a property developing unit has purchased 27 acres of unused industrial land outside London, in which it plans to develop a residential area dubbed Strand East for some 6,000 people. So we know about the planned opolis, right? We saw those videos basically put out by these sustainability um, groups or organizations. They're bas basically promoting depopulation in a, uh, basically a scientifically controlled environment. And it's in interesting because they say what uh, in these eco cities will be what? A car free because that's one of the things too. They're using oil as a means to get you out of your car. Except for buses and ambulances, of course, right? So... Uh, you know, you're going to have to get on public transportation. And it says here that they're going to keep out check cashing shops and other common signals of neighborhood blight. And it goes on and it says that the development could be choked off by a mega landlord with a pension for neat design and social order. Moving on, we have Merck baldness drugs destroy, destroy sperm, cause infertility and ejaculation disorders even after you stop using them. So that would make sense. You know, you want to get your hair back. You want to become, uh, get your masculinity back. And what do you do? You lose the ability to procreate. So antidepressants, and that's just, that's how everything works with the pharmaceutical companies in the health industry. It says here, antidepressants could cause harm to heart, brain, and bones. It says, at worst, antidepressants cause decreased mental stability. Wanting to kill yourself or others around you are feelings which antidepressants have been shown to ignite. And this article is an example of what I refer to as economic um, engineering blowback or social engineering blowback, i.e. eugenics. Ohio man kills wife, daughter at Cracker Barrel. A man whose wife had just told him she was leaving him shot uh, and killed her and one of her daughters who is celebrating her birthday inside the crowded Cracker Barrel. And a West Virginia uh, basically research reported that urban U.S. children with more exposure to fluoridated water have just as many cavities as less fluoridated exposed rural children. So, But it's all about eugenics. So. But it does what? It actually lowers the IQ, which is a goal. Um, it also damages your heart and damages your bones. And talking about engineering blowback, uh, this is another goal, which is nihilism and atheism. And if you're an atheist, I'm not trying to bash you. That's cool. That's great. You're an empiricist to facts, right? So, but uh, the goal of nihilism is a big thing. And you can see it all around you. People that don't believe in anything. And uh, usually uh, with nihilists, not atheists, they're very hedonistic and they don't care about anybody else but themselves. And to me personally, that's that's actually regressing. That's de-evolving spiritually and physically, in my own opinion. So then we have this. Uh, Kirk Cameron, hit by former child stars on gay comments, have actually uh, come up with a group called Child Celebrities Opposing Kirk Cameron. So it says that they're pledging to raise awareness about the serious threat to our civil rights. Gay men kiss as Muslims protest atheist convention in Australia. We have Tennessee Senate approves bill to warn students that hand-holding is a gateway to sexual activity. You might have missed this. Prince Harry spent Easter break in his father's manor in Transylvania. Remember, they're related to Dracula. That's right. Next up, Obama hosts the Easter egg roll, which is what? The Babylonian goddess Ishtar. And Mar March 21st is the Illuminati's human sacrifice night. Sound familiar? March 21st. Thank you.